This is a piece called Virinian Red, which is a misspelling of Virginia Red. The sculpture was made in the early 60s. It was the first of a series using a technique which I had learned from a designer that I worked for in UCLA doing product design. They all are pieces that sit on the floor and seem to sort of rise out of the floor. I was 22 when I started making this series. Well, I'd just gotten out of UCLA and I had a little experience with fiberglass because I had done quite a bit of work building a car which I had bought incomplete and I knew how to do that and I knew how to spray paint when it was done and what was done here was to make a shape of an object that could be pushed through a vessel full of plaster and when that hardened it made a mold to make the piece that you actually see. It's finished in automotive lacquer. A number of colors went on there, and by way of sanding, layers were opened up so you could see through them. I like the process because it is very orderly. I mean, once you knew what you were going to do, you just went through a number of stages to make it. So everything was pretty well organized from the beginning. They hide what they're made of until you touch them. So it theoretically could be a bronze or it could be made out of cement for that matter. <laughs> 